Kohana's live. Another tutorial part to solve two. Uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna run through a kind of trick quick. Try and give y'all a lot of information real fast here. Alright, let's go. You see, I got 1176 right here. A couple of uh, my own versions of things I made before 6.5 actually arrived. I was just anxious, and so I started building more and more. And just kind of like, I'm gonna just use these like staples. And I mean, they serious. They, you're not gonna hear them in this track. I just load them up so you can see them. I'll talk about them later. Come back to that. Right here, see my setup? I'm using these buses. And this mount, you flip it around, you use just a bunch of your splitters. Then you can chain your splitters together. And when you finish recording your tracks and everything, uh, just take your outs, run it into there. Then you do all your mixing on the actual, you do all your mixing on the actual SSL board. I started doing it on the, uh, a little, the little mixer, the Mackie mixer that's in here, which is having all these double levels. It just makes no sense. Then you mute your bus, and you might have these little muting situations you have to deal with, which I'll go through that later, but not right now. We're going to keep it fast. Okay. Next thing I do is, I don't know if you do it, I'm I'm a Regent's head. I'm side chaining, you know, and uh, if you don't know really what that is or how, why you do that, I'll explain that later. Just holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Some things I learned, I ain't, all, most of the stuff I learned, I learned from other people and I applied it. What I like, I kept the things I didn't, I shot out the way. You know, why we're universe out here. And so that's the EQ that I'm using to side chain the compressor on this SSL. All right. Uh, now to shoot over here. Like I said, I, everything is being bust through my buster. So I create the item, use it, you know, lay it down on the track. Go through the whole track, do the track. Nowhere is about sending this dad in there until I get ready to do some mixing. And then I'll send everything, flip that around again, send everything out, and then they end up going through there. And like on the uh, drums bus, I threw another 1176 up here. Just did that because it just got the product, you know. So we got all the drums muted right now. Created my own drums, of course. Because I'm working with Reason 6. I know I'm moving fast. I'm hoping I'm not making you dizzy here. These are the ones I use now as my buses. I use this, which gives me more ins and outs because I typically do a little bigger tracks and more summing on the buses now. So I use this. I just love to look at that running across the top of everything. So imagine that across the top, which is how my new one looks. This was, like I said, a, a previous song done. So let's get over here to the song itself. We're going to start up. We got no drums and no vocals. I just wanted to give you some ambiance. Let's flip over to the mixer. Stop for a second. <clears throat> I'm gonna come back with some. I just, I'm just hitting you. All right, these, this is the way I hook it up. If you put your minus signs on your buses, then it looks like audio is going through. You see, you, you get where I'm going there. Right here is what I run out to my uh, outboard gear, which is uh, oh my god, amp. I mean, nope, not amp. Art Pro Channel. Love it, love it. <laughs> okay, and through uh, Baron's uh, Elise. A Behringer mixer, one of the little USB mixers, not the miniature size, and 12 channels. You put it together yourself, you figure it out. Alright, use some of the effects up there. Not a lot, but I like that warm sound after running back in. So we, that's what all our blues are, all the yells of that. Okay, I use that symbol for that. If you're not doing that, it's, it's much better than just keeping color coordination. You know what I'm saying? Because as I flip through here, I know where all my buses are instantly. You know, and, and the things that are sent out, boy, as you see, I've done some things in here, and then we got like. I didn't do it to the vocals for some reason. I just kind of leave my vocals in them, tweak them in the box because they came through the pre -amp. Anyway, all right, so let's bring it in. Let's go just vocals. Now, let's just bring it in without the drums. All right, let's just bring it in. We're four minutes in. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to be quiet for a minute and let y'all hear this. Taunts. <laughs> I wanna tell you a story about this girl I once knew. She changed my whole life around. Don't need me. The reason why we didn't work it out. 
myself a bad girl waking up Sometimes I just feel so down I don't know if we get too much more than that, but uh, that's what it do, yeah. So I'm serious. I don't play with it. Uh, now let's go over here. I'm gonna show you what I did to the vocals. You can just kind of look at it if you're serious about it. Pause it. Take a peek of it. You know, these, I, I didn't do a lot of EQing to the back. So I, sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's because I'm EQing on the way in. Yes, I do that. I know. <laughs> you know, like I feel like that's one of the, that's a staple. Like I get a sound from you and I love it. I can press it already. That's it. Let's roll. Now, once I get it in the box, I might tweak it a little bit with the EQ because I'm giving it some harmonic distortion and some other simple elements from my outboard equipment when I'm EQing it, which is why I run a lot of my, some of my stuff out, and it gives it a richer sound. Like, if I just soloed right quick all the blue tracks right quick because I do this sometimes just to hear what came back. Now, some of the elements of the track is not going to be there, but let's play. So that's just some of the things I ran back. Uh, the drums, I missed the drums there and that too. Back here, so listen to the drums and what just came back. <laughs> Now, let's run over here. I'm trying to do this fast, man, so I can get a lot of the info right quick. Um, chaining, I'm uh, going out. We're just going to do another one on that, man. We ain't going to try and even get into that yet, so I can explain it better. We're going to highlight y'all. We have seven minutes. You see what I'm doing here. This is a deep track. We're going to come back twice. Nah, we're just going to finish it on out, man. We just roll with it, man. Be patient. All right. So, mass is the only thing I totally created from a blank palette here which is solo mass wait are we gonna actually get it or do we have to go back to the here yes we have to go back and open the bus up all right now i can come through we have to shoot over here and where is massive oh it's only in the beginning yes i'm sorry i'm sorry about that this is massive I always do this to people around me. I wouldn't be in the studio and I'd be like, I don't want to hear that. Listen. <laughs> right? And so after all that crazy stuff I did too, and I just twerked it out. But we're going to holler at y'all uh, using the compressor just to see what it would do on some tracks. We're going to come back one more time and we're going to go into detail on the compressors. Holler at you. Cold hard. <laughs> 